Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Manager Certification. We are in chapter six talking about test tools and automation and continuing ahead with the last topic of this chapter that is 6.4 tool matrices. In order to talk about the tool matrices, we should first recall the term matrix from the foundation and of course from the previous chapters of the syllabus as well that what exactly the matrices are. Matrices are basically certain calculations and evaluation which help you to determine the monitoring on the progress of anything. Similarly, we do have certain matrices which are inbuilt within a tool in order to collect that necessary information which would be required for a test manager to analyze and decide that whether the tool is still beneficial for us in terms of all the aspects what we got it for or acquired it for and is it still returning that benefit or not because at any point of time if you think that there are tools which are no longer providing you any kind of benefits it's time to go ahead and retire the tool and go for something more better solution for your overall organization need and that's what the tool matrices will do so we generally expect the tools to collect the necessary matrices for you because manually it could be quite difficult to judge that whether it is a benefit or not but when a tool collects all the necessary information that how exactly it is performing well and what kind of information it is able to collect is that will help you to determine the overall tool life cycle. So a test manager can decide and gather objective matrices from the tool used by any of the team like functional and non-functional we represent them with technical test analyst and test analyst. Different tools can capture valuable uh, real-time data and can reduce the effort of data collection. This data can be used by the test manager to manage the overall test effort. Different tools are focused on collecting different types of data and that's what we will be elaborating here as a part of this tutorial that what are the different tools which can actually collect different types of data for us in order to consider that as a part of the tool matrix. So some of the examples include here is the, the test management tool. If you recall the test management tool is basically a tool which is made use for end-to-end -end test resource management be it the requirement gathering or be it talking about the test data, test cases, test executions defect and all put together everything so test management tools can supply a variety of different matrices like traceability from requirement to the test cases and automated script allows coverage matrices to be obtained a snapshot of currently available test plan test and current execution status bb pass fail uh, skipped blocked or in queue can be taken at any point of time so i know you have been you know definitely using a test management tool for a long time so you know that these are some of the amenities what you get as a part of the test management tool where we have everything put together like the requirement management defect management test management and release management put together so traceability becomes much more simpler and reliable and at any point of time you can just go to the dashboard part and populate a graph to showcase that how many test cases are pending or probably how many test cases are associated with this requirement which are executed how many test cases are yet to be executed and a lot many other things like that and that's what you call it as a tool matrix which can actually capture a lot of such things to help you determine that how exactly you are progressing with it now defect management tool can supply a wealth of information about the defects so there's complete end-to-end -end defect benefits or defect management point of view there are a lot of matrices which can be collected so it includes the current status of the defects, the severity and priority of the defects, distribution throughout the system that how exactly defects are found from different components, different features or different modules of the application and a lot many other things. Of course, uh, you can talk about the root cause, you can talk about the face identified in or many other things which are you know very helpful at any point of time other illuminating data such as the phase in which defect was introduced and found like escape rates etc help the test manager drive process improvement so all this data can be collected by the tool itself and must be so managed well that if i just populate using a filter i get the necessary outcomes static analysis tools can help detect uh 
the and report maintainability issues because static analysis is all about the code reviews and we generally find out anomalies in the code which is written and the static analysis tools must have the capabilities of capturing all that input which is related to the uh, detection of uh, you know the issues and maintainability of the issues performance tools can supply valuable information on the scalability of the system which is from the point of performance engineering talking about the resource utilizations number of users what kind of ramp up happened what kind of ramp down happened what what exactly was going on when this particular scenario failed or probably degraded or the response time reduced or increased so all those sort of things can be collected by a performance testing tool Similarly, if you talk about the coverage tools that can help the test manager understand how much of the system has been actually exercised through the testing. So we have got decision coverage, statement coverage, path coverage, modified condition decision coverage, a lot many other things which can actually be measured through the coverage measurement tool to determine the functional and conditional coverages in the programs and the code what we write. So all these tools give you a great example that no matter what type of tool you make use of, you should have a good collection of matrices at any point of time which will definitely determine you that how exactly the progress is going on and uh, it will help you to further determine the benefits of the tool at any point of time now the reporting requirements of the tool should be defined during the tool selection process itself it's not that like you start using the tool and generally we say that reporting is something which happens later at the cycle no but it would be selected, decided about it much earlier before the selection of the tool. That what kind of reports can be populated using this tool, which you are making use of. So the reporting requirement of the tool should be defined during the tool selection process itself. Those requirements must be properly implemented during tool configuration to ensure that the information tracked by the tools can be reported in ways that will be understandable to the stakeholder. So it's just not that the reports are only for the technical people or it's just for the managers. It, it is for every individual and anyone can actually, you know, make use of these reports and can have everyone to, you know, share that information with. So I need to make sure that every single stakeholder is able to understand all the inputs. Well, so that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment that below. I'm always there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.